Okay, today is uh, July 21st, 2021, and I've been building a, uh, a scooter steering mechanism. I welded uh, two steel plates together and welded a tube on the inside that this uh, handle uh, attaches to and I have it pinned down here. So it's connected to this uh, seven or eight inch tube that's inside that's welded. So it's, it's pretty sturdy. And I welded these uh, plates together, bolted them on, washers, lock washers, you know, the whole nine yards. And this is aluminum, this is steel. This came off a steam mop which is funny, that uh, only worked for about two years and I had to throw in the garbage. It'll help on turns, that's for damn sure. Just keeps your balance. It's not that you're really gonna steer with it, you're steering with your feet, your, your toes on uh, the right side, because I'm a right-handed uh, rider, and on your heels when you're making your left turns. That'll just, you know, guide me. So, right now this is the test. Hi everybody, Michael here, and uh, it's very hot, a little windy and hot. I'm just going to take it around the block. It's probably in the 90s somewhere, upper 90s, but this is a motor tech. As you can see, it says uh, motor tech. That's the name of the board. It's the old fashioned uh, electric skateboard about uh, five or six year you know, old technology. It's using three lead acid batteries in series. You get uh, uh, 36 uh, volts. When you charge it, it goes up to 42. And there's no regenerative uh, braking. Uh, it doesn't put back any energy into the battery. That's the problem. The range is about uh, eight miles round trip. I've done that. Top speed is about oh, 18, 18 miles per hour. I'm messing with the controls. All right, making sure all my padding looks good. It's working, brakes are working. I believe I'm on the second speed, we'll see. So, this is just like a tiller on a boat. You stand here and you're just going to, as you can see, it just guides you. You're not really putting a lot of weight on it. It's your balance. You're using your you're using your uh, toes to go right and your heels to go left.
it's welded good. And the acceleration almost threw me for a loop. I forgot that you got to you got to stay forward for acceleration and back for braking. All right. Lean forward. Lean back for braking. I can get used to this. Okay. It's just a different ride. Right. And the battery is about uh, three quarter full, maybe a little less, because it was in the garage, it drains down in that heat. Doesn't look that bad, and I could paint it if I want to, or just leave it alone. I think I'll leave it, because I don't use it too often. But it gives you that mental stability, whether you're using it or not. Before you're like this, you know, when I got my cameras and all my other crap. Right. This one's running now. Oh, and you could do a, a tail uh, turn. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> I'm just looking for trouble. Yeah, this one's about 39 pounds. Piece of cake! Piece of cake! We should put a handle on every one of them. <laughs> I don't believe it. I'm always afraid of that curb getting me. Accelerate forward.
It's amazing. It changed the complete vehicle. Completely. It's a cake. I love it. Unbelievable. That was amazing. I designed it myself. I built it and it works. Pretty damn stable. There's a little give in it because of the two tubes on the bottom, but I don't really need much. It, I think it's more mental confidence when you're um, using your toes and your heels to turn. It just works. Doesn't look bad. It's like a tiller from an old car or something. So my uh, electric skateboard Mototech 600 was converted into an electric scooter. It only took me a couple hours just to draw it up, fabricate it, weld it, grind it, put the tubes together, and try it out. I love when a plan comes together. Bye now.